Good morning, d -Gent. This is Ashley DeFi, and today we are coming at you with a real gem, one that we think is on the cusp of breaking out mainstream. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. We're talking about Lynx Perpetual Dex, a high leverage trading platform allowing for any ERC token to be used as collateral and supporting gasless trading from any supported blockchain. Now, before we actually start diving in, let's make sure we all understand what that means. A Perpetuals Dex is a decentralized platform that allows for users to trade in perpetual contracts. Perpetual contracts allow for traders to speculate on the price movements of an underlying asset without actually owning the asset. And because they're perpetual, as long as the trader maintains a sufficient margin to cover any losses, they can be opened indefinitely. Okay, so one quick example before we get started. Let's say you deposit 1,000 FTM using 10 times leverage. That means that your actual position is 10,000 Phantom. That means that if the price of Phantom was to decrease by 10%, the result would be a $1,000 loss, which would eat up your initial margin. If you were not able to add more liquidity to increase your margin, then the result would be liquidation. Now, links unlike other perpetual DEXs, does not track the price of the collateral token when calculating a user's PL because it is not a parameter. This means that the user's collateral token price has absolutely no impact on moving closer or further away from a potential liquidation. Okay, another really cool thing with links, a trader's PL is not determined in USD value. It's determined in token units and is paid out based on the collateral token that's provided. And we're going to see some examples of this coming up soon. Now, before we actually start taking a look at some examples, let's actually make sure that everyone's on the same page with what high leverage trading means. Leverage trading allows for traders to gain exposure to a particular asset without having to invest a proportionate amount of their own assets. And so as you're going to see in this first example, I am going to use 25 Phantom. That is the asset I'm going to provide. But then I'm going to utilize 50 times leverage. 50 times 25 will mean that my position will now be equivalent to 1,250 phantom, a huge increase over my initial 25, which will very much increase any profits or losses incurred during my trade. Now, when using leverage, traders either bet long or short, depending on what they think the price of the underlying asset's going to do. If the trader believes that the asset price is going to go up, then they will take out a long position, which is betting on a price increase. This means that if the price decreases, they will be losing money at the same rate they would be gaining money if the price was increasing. And conversely, if a trader believes that the price of an asset is going to decrease, they would take a short position on the asset, thus profiting off any decrease in the asset value and losing profit if the underlying asset appreciates instead of decreases in value. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about what Lynx is, let's cover a few incidentals before we dive in and see what it does. Lynx Perpetuals Dex launched in February 2024 starting with the Fuse blockchain as its initial origin chain. That's the chain where the user interacts with their own assets and sends out transactions. The engine chain, or the settlement chain, has always been phantom, but will soon be transitioning over to the revolutionary new Sonic blockchain coming soon. Lynx was one of the five Sonic Labs incubator winners resulting in a payout of 200,000 Phantom and a ton of support, including from Chief Technical Officer Mac Daddy Andre Cronje himself. Lynx has a lot of backers, including Galaxy, Andre Capital, Parify Capital, ISOG Ventures, and many more, including a wide array of partnerships. No, no, no. Lynx currently does not have a native token, but there 
are some pretty persistent rumors that in the future, they will be tokenizing the platform. Another really cool feature of Dex Perpetuals, guys, is their gasless transactions for opening or closing trades. And this is achieved by using an origin chain, which is whatever blockchain the user's assets are stored, and an engine chain, which is the blockchain where final settlement occurs. And so by having this set up, the user does not pay any transaction fees for opening or closing trades on the Lynx Perpetuals platform. So not only is Lynx Perpetuals one of the five Sonic Lab Incubator winners, it's also been chosen to help lead up the Road to Sonic NFT series, allowing for users to participate to gain points that will lead to Sonic airdrops down the road. And as we can see here, placing a single trade on Lynx using FTM as the collateral with a minimum trade side of 100 FTM will check off that box. And you know what? I think we'll be able to accomplish that in this video. Okay, guys, we've covered the basis. Now it's time to jump on in. Okay, so this is the trading platform for Link's Perpetual Dex. And let's start going through it together. First, we are on the trading tab, which we're going to stick to for now. And we can see on the top left, that is going to be the underlying price of the collateral that we are interested in, in this case, Phantom, and its current USD equivalent cost, which is 37 cents approximately. Over here, we can switch between different collateral assets that we want to either bet on or against using longs or short positions, which we're going to go through more. But for this video, we want to stay with Phantom because we love Phantom and it's going to be going to the moon very soon with Sonic. And so now we're looking over here at these long open interest. And basically that is telling you the amount of positions that are currently open by traders that are betting on the price of the asset, in this case, Phantom increasing the number of shorts is zero that means no one currently is betting on the price of phantom going down for a good reason and that would leave a skew of a hundred percent now what is this really telling you this is really just giving you some market sentiment what do other people think is going to happen and this you can use to gauge on what you may or may not want to do considering all of the crazy alpha that's coming out of Sonic Labs and the foundation right now and who is in charge and the builders that are building on the current Phantom blockchain and transitioning to the new Sonic blockchain, there's really not a lot of surprise that no one is betting on the price of Phantom going down, but that may not always be the case. Okay, so this funding rate that we're seeing here is something that is used to help keep the underlying asset price and the contract price very similar. And it works by incurring payments to both long and short traders. However, right now, there is not any fee that is incurred, and so it will have absolutely no impact on a trader. Over here, we see the borrow rate, and that is the rate of interest that a trader is charged per hour to maintain a collateralized position on the DEX. As this borrow rate would go up, the cost of holding a highly collateralized position would also increase over time. Okay, so now we have our graph, which everyone is very familiar with, but I will just cover a few key points if you're not familiar we can add trend lines as we like we can also add other types of analysis like fibronacci replacements which i'm not going to go into uh, what all of these mean i'm just showing you that they are available to traders that know how to utilize them we can also add text and icons we can zoom into specific parts if we want to and we can zoom out 
There are lots of things that we can do over on the left side with our toolkits. Over on the top, of course, we can look at the one minute chart. We can look at the 30 minute chart. We can look at the one hour chart if we want to get a better idea of what is happening with the underlying asset. And of course, it really depends on the amount of leverage that you're using. If you're using 100 times leverage, you're probably going to be more interested in the one minute chart. If you're using times 10 leverage, then one hour or 30 minutes may be more applicable to your situation. And then we have alterations that we can make to the visuals of the chart, whether you prefer bars, whether you prefer the candles, or whether you prefer something more like an area. In addition, there are some nice indicators up here, which we will not go through too much. But again, there are some that some of you would know, Bollinger Bands, many people are familiar with. And this is just another helpful indication. Remember, the top line is sort of showing you where the top of the sentiment lies. And so as a candle gets closer to that red line, then traders generally expect a pullback, whereas the green line is the low point, the low mean. And so as it gets closer to to that line and traders expect for there to be a price increase with the blue line sort of being the mean average between the two just in case you're not aware of what those mean but as you can see you can apply these and other indicators very easily it's really simple to do we can zoom out of the chart we can zoom into the charts it's a really nice easy setup it works very fast very simple and you'll get it in no time at all. Now, over here, if we look, I have not connected my wallet yet, but we'll do that soon. We can decide, once again, if we want to do a long trade or we want to do a short trade. Now, remember, long is something that we would want to take out if we believe the price of the underlying asset, in this case, phantom is set to increase we would use a short position if we believe the opposite is true limits are not available yet so we're not going to go into them we'll just stay with the market and then we need to start getting into the collateral and so again one really amazing thing about links is they have allowed for the introduction of really any erc20 token and so we can see over here that on the FTM blockchain, the tokens that are available for us to provide as collateral to take out a leverage position are the USDC, Spirit from Spirit Swap, our friends over at Paint Swap, Brush, and our good friends over at Polter Finance and F Money Markets. We have already done videos on all of those guys, not Spirit, but the other ones, they are all really stellar protocols. It's really great to see their tokens on here to be able to use as collateral. And we are going to open trades in multiple tokens so you can see how it works and so you can see how the contest works because yes, Lynx even has trading contest provided by some of their partners that give a lot of incentives for traders to utilize their platforms so prepare yourself because we have a lot to dig into and i'm going to tell you right now it's a lot of fun so be careful guys because you need to know enough of what you're doing so that you don't mm, get yourself in trouble but once you understand it whoo Woo, this place is better than Disney World. But anyway, so let's come on down here to our collateral. That's just telling you how much do you want to put out? How much are you willing to invest of your own collateral? Then we have our leverage that we can go all the way to Supermax Deegan, 100 times leverage. And then we have our stop loss. That's going to basically automatically exit your position if there is a decrease of whatever percentage you set it to. You can set that yourself manually, or you can select one of these easy to use parameters that have been chosen by DEX. We also have our take profit button. And this is actually one of the safety mechanisms that we're going to cover later on in the video, but it's a really easy and nifty tool that ensures you do not lose out on your profits by working the same way as a stop loss does during decreases, except during increases, basically automatically closing your position and locking in that profit, whatever you happen to have set that profit to. We have our entry price, which is going to be the price that you enter your position at with the slippage saying, hey, 
we are not willing to enter into the price that we see here if it is above or below by more than 1%. And again, you can adjust that if you would like. Then we have what we need to connect to our wallet for. So I'll come right back. Okay, guys, we're going to kill two birds with one stone. We're going to set up an example where we need to deposit funds and then provide the collateral. And then we are going to go ahead and check off this road to Sonic checklist so that we can get closer to getting our second NFT on the road to Sonic by completing task one using at least 100 FTM as collateral, which we're going to do now. Just had to look at those little details winch don't worry we were already going to cover that so if we come back over here the first thing that you're going to want to do when you're ready to open up a position is deposit funds into the links platform now this does require gas which on phantom is still basically nothing but it's not covered in the gasless transactions remember the gasless transactions are for opening or closing trades not for depositing funds into the platform but again we're talking about pennies so let's not get our panties in a bunch. How much do we want to put in? First of all, yes, we have a lot of different chains that we could choose from, but we're going to stick with our favorite of them all, Phantom, the best of them all too. <laughs> and we're going to deposit Phantom. And yes, let's deposit 100 Phantom and we will do this, okay? So now we're going to approve this, okay? We're going to confirm that. You can't see my MetaMask that's popping up, but it's popping up and it's going away really quick because we all know that Phantom is really fast. Faster than your grandma's cooking, I promise you that. And so in just a moment, we will have that done. And so now you can see available to us is 176.426 Phantom. I already had some Phantom on here. I've already been playing around messing with the platform. As we can see down here by my history, <laughs> a couple that weren't so good, but a couple that were pretty nice getting my hands on things, testing things out. And so now let's see what we can do. Let's put in a hundred phantom as collateral and we're going to bump this all the way up to deacon now before we do this we need to check down here at this the place order area okay because as you can see as we slide this this slider for the leverage it's changing the details down here so it's showing okay we are providing ourselves 100 phantom that's the collateral that we ourselves are providing and that position size, if I was to use around 60%, we can see on this little box right here, it's the leverage. So about 60% would be almost 6,000 phantom. So if we go all the way up here to 80 times or 100 times, then our position size is now 10,000 phantom. Okay, so that is going to change our liquidation price as well, because the higher the leverage the smaller the window is that the price movements are allowed to remain in before great or bad things happen, liquidation or a lot of profit. Again, as we slide this down, we can see that the liquidation price goes down significantly. Okay, so it really depends on the amount of leverage, the amount of risk that you're willing to take. That's going to dictate what's going to happen with the price that you will be liquidated at. And... The other big factor that you need to consider is the open fee because less leverage, less fee, higher leverage, higher fee. So we can see here that if I want to put a hundred of my phantom as collateral and open up a 100 leverage trade, the cost of me opening that is nine phantom. That means that my real amount is 9,100. That's the principle after the leverage, but my tokens have went from 100 to nine. I've lost nine tokens before anything has happened. So you need to be aware that your trade needs to generate at least more than nine tokens for you to be profitable. Otherwise, it's going to result in a losing trade. Now, for us, we want to decide what should we do? Should we long or should we short this market? Because a high leverage is we're talking very short time frames. We see that I am on the one minute tab and we can see that in the past, not too much time, there has been a pretty significant down drop. 
a pretty significant down drop in the overall price of Phantom. So before we make our decision, let's look at Bitcoin because the market moves based off Bitcoin and we can see basically that it's the same chart. Bitcoin has had a uh, pretty precipitous fall recently, and it's starting to go back up. And so I am going to go ahead and say, you know what? I think these losses were temporary. I think that we are going to go up now. And so we're going to place a long position using 100 collateral. We're going to have a take profit at a hundred percent because why not we can always close the trade using the market if we want to and we can see again that my position size is going to be quite large and my liquidation price quite low so let's go ahead and see what we can do now as you can see before i click the button we are experiencing some more losses so i just want to let that settle down and then boom we're going to go ahead and sign it Dex is links is receiving it, processing it. Success, we're in here. We are good to go. And now I have my trade, which is open right here. As you can see, we lost the nine FTM. That was the cost of opening the trade. Our entry price is thirty six nine, and our liquidation price is thirty six point six, which is not a lot of wiggle room. Our take profit is going to occur at 37 cents, 0.3, about 373 cents, okay? And right now, we can see what our profit is. And now, remember, the profit and loss is not calculated according to USD in links. It's calculated according to token units. And because my token units are phantom, then we can see here changing very quickly up and down, up and down, more down than up right now. That's how it goes. Sometimes I don't know what's going to happen here. This is just for entertainment and for learning purposes. But we can see that I have lost or I am currently losing 7.7 .7 tokens and my total loss currently is about 10%. Now, if I think, you know what, I may have made a mistake here. I think that perhaps the market is going to continue to go down and I don't want to lose a lot of my investment, then I could close my position. I could close my position anytime I want to simply by clicking this button. And we can see here how quick things change. And I think we will close right there and sign it at a nice, healthy, that was that 25%, something like that. And so we can see now that we have successfully removed it. Our position has been closed. And if we come back up here, we have gained, we have gained in tokens. And not only have we just gained and increased our total amount of tokens, but we have also completed the road to Sonic task by having at least one trade on links as collateral. Well done. Well done. So now what else can we do? What else can we do? We saw how we do that with Phantom, but remember, you can do a lot of other things right now. OK, I have some brush in my wallet and so i can do exactly what i did with my phantom using my brush tokens where i can come in here and i can say okay well you know what i think is going to happen i think that i'm going to use all my brush tokens and this time we're only going to go about 50 percent. and again you can just type it in here if it's being a little finicky for you 50 right there and we don't want to lose more than half of our brush actually let's be conservative no more than 25%, and we will take profit at 50%. We're being very conservative. Our current entry price, we can see, and the leverage position size. We're putting in 612. Our position value is about 30,000, and we can see that we're going to have to pay an open fee of about 27.57 brush. So remember, we need to make sure that before we close our position to be profitable, that we at least recover that much brush. And there is a slight opening and closing fee. We're gonna get into all the fees later on because they're important that you understand. But for right now, let's go ahead and place this order so that we can get ourselves into the game. And 
All right, here we go as we get inside of here. And it looks like Phantom is making quite a nice rebound. Where did we get in at? It looks like we got in at 37.2, of course, at the top of the chart, the tippity top, tip, tip, top. But we'll see how we do. We can see we've already made 19. Now, remember, we need to cover that 28 or so this trade to be profitable so we've already covered that if we want we can close and we'll gain a very slight amount but for right now let's just leave this where it's at and we'll come back to it in just a little bit okay because what i want to do now is i want to move us over to the spirit category now over here in spirit i've actually already got the trade open and we can see that right down here where i have opened a long trade because I believe very strongly that the price of Phantom is going to go up, but I've only used 10 times leverage. Okay. So I haven't used a lot of leverage and look at the difference now in the take profit and the stop loss categories over here where I'm not, it's not going to close my trade to take profit until I'm well over 40 cents conversely it's not going to remove me to stop loss me until i reach all the way down to 35 cents and so there's a lot more wiggle room it's a lot more conservative and you can still very easily increase your total amount of tokens now right now we can see that i have not neither lost nor gained very much but considering that in the days to come I expect that the price of Phantom will go up closer to 40 than the amount of tokens that I receive, I am hoping to be much higher. And one of the reasons that I'm using Spirit right now, not only because I like Spirit, and Spirit is an OG protocol transitioning into Silver Swap. We will be doing a video on you guys, but this is about links and their magic. So let's keep it there for now. But the reason that we're using spirit is because right now there is a competition a competition that has been partnered into with spirit swap silver swap and dex or links dex perpetuals and so right now we can see that there is an active competition where traders whoever is able to have the most spirit accrued at the end of the round which has about five days left we can see here will receive as rewards 118,000 spirit. And so myself right now, I am down in the second spot by only less than 500 tokens. So we're pretty close. But as we can see here, right, I have invested not very much and I have profited a small amount. But as it stands today, I am set to receive about seven times more as rewards and so that is something that you definitely want to know about and that you definitely want to participate in because it just adds to the fun it's already fun to trade using leverage but then to have these competitions where you're able to trade and then gain even more through incentives and rewards just adds a lot more attention and excitement and enthusiasm to users that want to use the platform we can come over here to our rewards tab and we can see that in four days, seven hours, actually, the current round is going to close and the amount of rewards that I am entitled to, they will show up right here and I will be able to claim them. Now, there's a detailed tab right here and I'll go through it really quick. And basically what this detailed tab is showing you is it is showing you sometimes when there is a competition set up between platforms and links they will provide further rewards such as fee rebates because when you open trades as we've seen it costs tokens and depending on the amount of leverage used that amount of fee can be significant and so as we can see right here in this competition the total amount of trading fees has been about twenty thousand spirit that means just the spirit to do something like open up position my trading fees to do what I've done so far have been about 38% of the entire fees in the competition. Now, Spirit Swap has not elected to pay out rewards for this category, but sometimes there are. And so if you saw a number in this 
category for rewards. Then based on your trading fees and your share of the fees paid, you would qualify for a rebate and you would receive additional rewards in addition to what you would receive based on your placement on the leaderboard. There is also another category for positive trading bonus, and this rewards the best traders. The trader with the highest profit to loss is going to receive the greatest share of the rewards for this category. But as we can see, Spirit Swap has not elected to provide incentive for this category. However, we can still see our individual details as shown. And then, of course, we have the trading competition, which is showing a rewards per week each round of the competition currently at 600,000 spirit tokens that is what is currently up for grabs and i was in first place until probably since i've started making this video so i'll have to get back in there but it currently shows my rank is number one which means that my expected rewards are 118,000 spirit Okay, so if we come back to the trading tab, then we can see what our spirit is doing right now. And it looks like it is not doing very well for us. As we can see, we are going a bit down, but we're not going to close that position right now. We're going to let things ride. We only need less than 600 tokens to take back first place. So we think we can definitely get that. We just need to be a little patient because this will reverse and Valhalla shall be the final destination especially with sonic so i feel like now we have opened and closed some trades we have let some trades sit let's go back and see what our brush trade is doing it's probably not doing very well Ooh, we can see actually that we just got liquidated i believe is what happened there yes we do we come to our history and we can see that we were stopped loss that is what happened we were stopped loss we lost 25 percent of our put up collateral in addition to what we paid to open that position and so we can see we lost 146 which is why now up here i only have 412 available if I wanted to open up another position. So this is really nice that you were able to see that because you can close it yourself using the market. That's when you click the button as I did or that stop loss. And remember that stop loss is a safety mechanism to prevent you from losing too much. And so now we have no positions open on the brush category and we have no positions open on the phantom category but we can see our history in the phantom category as shown. And luckily, compared to the brush, things have gone uh, significantly better. And once more, if we come back to our spirit, which is our long play that is not going so well now, but we can also see our history here. We can see the prices that we entered when we closed, how we closed. So again, all of these were me deciding to close. And this was a situation where it took profit because we had reached that 100% profit margin. And so again, utilizing these parameters correctly is a really easy way to get the most out of this platform, to make the most profits, and to avoid taking big losses, as we just saw with our brush only losing 25% because we set that stop loss at 25%. And that is pretty much what is happening here, the nuts and bolts. Now, there are a few things to go through that we're going to talk about, such as this pair, which is showing you what we've already sort of talked about, but it's showing you some additional details as well, including the amount of Phantom that's available to borrow and the borrow APR. We're going to go through the fees in just a bit, so we'll stay away from that for now. And again, we have some caps, which is basically telling you the max amount that you can have, the max amount that you can borrow, and the minimum amount that you can open, the max size that you can have, all of that as well. Because remember, we are on the brush. If we switched over to Phantom, then that is going to change. And if we switch over to Spirit, then those numbers are also going to change as well. So make sure you look at the caps and the pair before you start getting 
in too deep just so you cannot be disappointed later though there's really nothing to be disappointed about with links links is an awesome platform that is moving very quickly at sonic speed to a shiningly brilliant future and so let us continue back to the graph and now check out this liquidity tab and the liquidity tab is the place where you can stake into single staking pools, which basically provides the funds which traders on the platform trade against. And you, as a staker, earn fees based on how the traders do and in how utilized the different pools are. Higher utilization rates result in higher fees being paid back to the stakers, which would be you. But be warned, you can lose, not through impermanent loss, but you can lose some of your provided liquidity based on the performance of traders on the platform. So if you've got some real chads in there that are just cutting things up, then your balance could go down a little bit. It really just depends on how the traders are performing. But here we can look at the different pools that we can have on the phantom side of things and the amount of balance, the utilization, and the different current parameters that are shown here. I myself have supplied a very small amount just to sort of get an idea of how things work. The epochs are in hours and so every hour there is a new epoch so there can be some differences in conversion rates depending on the price of something at the beginning of an epoch and the price of something at the end of an epoch if something like a withdrawal is made so now that we've seen the trading tab we've looked at the liquidity tab we've seen the rewards and the competition tab the last tab that's left is the portfolio tab which is really as pretty straightforward as it gets. This is going to show you the origin chain, the assets that are on that origin chain. Remember, the origin chain is different from the engine chain, but in this case, they're actually one and the same because the engine chain of Link's Perpetual Dex is Phantom, and we're also using that as the origin chain right now as well. And so we can basically see what we have, what is being utilized, and the available balances. If we have available balances, then those available balances can be withdrawn. And we can also very easily switch the networks or the tokens as we need to and see the history as well. So again, pretty straightforward stuff, which leaves us with the last but not least part of any platform, the docs. So let's go ahead and take a look at those now. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content, please consider spending $3 on a historical novel that I wrote to help get a beautiful young woman named Ashley Westeisen out of Thai prison. Buy a book to save a life. With enough books sold, she will get the attention and resources that she needs to find freedom. We can find those on the homepage by clicking up on the top right. And we've already gone through a lot of what is going on in this magical place. So we will skip ahead to a few things. The core design has some pretty interesting components. We've already talked about the gross profit and loss. We won't go into the mathematical formulas that derive those. They are included, but you should remember we did talk about how nothing to do with your collateral token, the token you provide as collateral, is used in the calculations of the gross profit and loss. And something that we will take a quick look at is some of the ways that they guarantee that successful traders will always be paid out. Okay, so some of the ways that Link's Perpetual Dex ensures successful traders are always paid out are shown on this page. And I'm going to go through a few of them now. First is that mandatory take profit button that we already saw on the trading platform. And it's going to be right here, that take profit. And we also saw how in my history that had actually been implemented two different times where basically you can see TP take profit occurred because my position had accrued more than a hundred percent or a hundred percent profits. And so that is a way that the protocol can ensure the user is always paid out funds because if the user utilizes the take profit button, 
then the protocol is able to calculate the maximum potential amount that needs to be paid out. Once they know the maximum potential that needs to be paid out, then they can earmark these potential funds as virtually borrowed. This allows for the Lynx Finance platform to track the utilization rate of the liquidity pools and adjust the interest rates as needed if the rate of utilization gets too high. Pretty ingenious stuff. And in addition, there are two more safe gaps or fail safes, which are that any trades that would cause for the liquidity pool's utilization to reach or surpass 100% are automatically rejected. And if the pool does reach 100% utilization rate, temporarily LP providers will be unable to withdraw funds, but during these increased times of volatility, they will be receiving maximum fees and the highest interest rates applicable. A little bit more info on the LPs before we jump into the fees and wrap this up is that the LP providers earn fees in the same collateral that they provide. So if you provide collateral into the FTM liquidity pool, then the fees that you earn will be paid to you in FTM. And we've already talked about how the epochs are in one hour increments. And so there can be differences in conversion rate between price variations at the beginning or the ending of an epoch when something is minted versus when something is actually withdrawn. And so these are some of the things that traders want to be familiar and aware of so that they can maximize their use and their profits from the platform. And this brings us to the very favorite of many people's trading platforms the fees because we need to know we need to know what's happening why it's happening so that we can ensure we are not making mistakes that could be prevented and so let's go through these fees now they are not as bad as you may imagine in fact they are among the industry best but you still need to know what they are and how they work so the first one we've already covered that's the opening fee that is the fee the cost to open a trade it is different depending on the collateral token and it is different depending on the amount of leverage that is used by the trader so higher leverage higher fees and depending on the collateral it may have different variations in the fee ratios as well but that is going to be one fee that you need to always keep up with and it's very easy to track because it is shown right down there in that bottom right corner listed at fees and so now we have something called the artificial spread and the artificial spread is something that is used to make sure that when a trader enters or exits a trade, that it's as accurate as possible. And it does this by increasing or decreasing the entry or ex exit point of a particular trader's trade. And so if you were to be going long, then instead of entering a trade at zero, maybe you enter at 0 0.1. And if you were going to be going short, then instead of entering at zero, maybe you enter at 0 point negative one. And so it's just something that can help mimic the price between the Oracle and the market so that real market conditions can be maintained. And it's not a big fee. It's very small. And you can see here in an example using about $1,500 that the fee amounts to about 30 cents. The artificial price impact is not in. So we will skip that now and come back to that. The funding rate is that rate that we saw up here that exists between the long and the short traders. However, the funding rate is currently not being applied, and so you do not need to worry about it. But in the future, if it is applied, this is what will dictate how it is applied. Just be aware of that. Again, we can always find it in a very easy to see place. The borrow rate we have also talked about that is listed right up here as well. And that is going to be, again, the fee that is charged 
per hour on the principal, and that is the fee that is the cost of keeping a leveraged trade open. And so you need to be aware of that. Again, it is very low, but it is still there. And so you need to be aware of it and account for it as well. Okay, there is also a closing fee that's on all collateral, and it's listed here at that 0.9%. And there's an easy example to follow where if you put 100 die as collateral at 20 times leverage and you have to pay the fee to open that so after you pay to open that now that number that you're seeing down here if you have an open trade okay that initial margin is going to be your collateral minus the open fee right and so after the open fee you have 98 die 98 times 20 times leverage gives you the position at 1960 die if you decided to close your position right then, then you would be paying a 0.9, closing fee. 1,960 times 0 0.1 equals 1.96. So your closing fee would be about to die. Very low, easy to calculate but definitely keep it in mind because the opening cost, the closing cost, the borrowing cost, these need to be accounted for before you decide to close a trade too early to ensure that you're at least able to break even or make profit on your initial investment. And the very last fee is the liquidation fee. And this occurs when a user has lost 90% of their collateral due to a price decrease. At this point, the protocol will automatically step in and liquidate that trader, leaving the trader with 10% of whatever their initial collateral was before they opened the trade. Now, out of that 10% that is provided to the trader after the liquidation, after the trader has lost 90% of their total value of their collateral, there is an additional 0.5% fee charged by the platform on that remaining 10%. That means that the user would receive back after liquidation and the penalty 9.5% of their initial 100% collateral. No one wants to see liquidation happen, but it is good knowing that if it does happen, the fees are going to be very, very cheap with Lynx Perpetuals Dex. Lynx Perpetuals Dex is a really fun, fun, fun platform. Can't stress that enough. It is set up easy to use, to understand. They have really great competitions to help bring in more users, and they are heavily invested with Sonic Labs, the Sonic Foundation, and the upcoming Sonic blockchain that is going to bust the wheels off of the crypto industry. They are extremely well positioned to jump in there, both feet running full sprint, or should we say sonic speed ahead with a great team of anonymous to us, but known to the foundation devs led by Danny, who are going to continue pushing this platform forward into the future. It is a really great way to increase your position during times that you think or know are going to be either short or long. So the next time that Andre Cronhey drops a treat about Sonic, that might be a good time to open up one of those hundred longs and watch that chart for the next five or 10 minutes to see how well you can do. But that's not financial advice. That's just me telling you one of the ways that you can utilize this awesome platform because I really can't say enough how amazing it is, how easy it is to use, how well set up, how fast everything makes sense, everything works, and with the extra add-ons of competition and rewards and the ability to have multi-chain, it is really going to continue to make waves. And let us not forget Deegan's.
they will tokenize in the future too, opening an entire new Pandora's box of opportunities. And so make sure you do not wait to start utilizing this gym because it is ready for the big times and it is a lot of fun. So we hope you enjoyed this deep down dive into another awesome phantom, soon to be Sonic blockchain. And we'll see you for the next one soon.